Hi, this is Dr. Beeman, and we're going to do the migration of the gases. The first thing is the hydrochloric acid, and we're going to load this into the left side as you look at it. So I'm going to take this, basically place a couple of drops of this into a, a piece of cotton that's in there, and we're going to load that up. Okay, you got it. Okay. And you can see the pH paper changing in this. We're going to stop for that, turn that so that it's good. You can see it. Now I'm going to step across. And we're going to use ammonium hydroxide here. And we're going to load this one on this side with the ammonium hydroxide. Okay, and you can see the green formation here with the pH paper. On this side, you can see the red of the of the uh, HCl. I'm going to basically put this on. Now we'll be able to track this looking at the color of the pH paper. You can already see that this ammonium uh, is starting to diffuse very rapidly versus that of the uh, of the HCl. I've got a clock on here, and what we're going to do is to watch it basically come across. You can see already that the ammonium has traveled almost two or three times as far as the HCl has. And we're going to let the clock go. We started at zero, and you can see the second hand coming around. The pH paper is basically telling you where the uh, gases are in this. and you can see that going on. I'm going to step away from the camera and let it run for just a minute. I'm going to add a meter stick here to the upper part like that. So you can see how fast this is actually going. You can already see the ammonia on this side passing the 50, whereas the hydrogen chloride is just getting down here to the 8 or 9. We're about three minutes in now, and you can already start seeing the ammonium is down here, and here is the hydrogen chloride here. So the ammonium is traveling much faster. Turn this just a little bit up so you can see it as it travels.
see we're about five minutes into this and that we've gone from 50 to 40 with the ammonium and really the HCl has just gotten a few centimeters more so that the ammonium gas is traveling much faster than the HCl. Coming up to the six minute mark, and you can see now that we're well past the 40 centimeter mark, moving down here toward 36, 37, someplace in there for the ammonium gas. <clears throat> and over here with the hydrogen chloride, we're basically at about the nine, maybe the 10 mark for that. We don't think that we're at the 10 mark just yet. Coming up to the eight minute mark, you can already see that we're now down from the 40 to around the 34 here and close to the nine, 9.5 mark with the HCL. getting toward the 10 minute mark and as you can see that we've made it all the way down down the tube to the about the 30 close to the 30 centimeter mark so we've gone from 40 to 30 in about a minute uh, about three minutes something like that maybe four minutes and we continue to spread downward with our ammonium hydroxide 
whereas the HCL now is just about to hit the 10 centimeter mark. There's 10 minutes. Starting to come up on 12 minutes, and you can see now we're down past 30 to right about 26, thereabouts, right on that tube. So we're basically driving much faster with the, uh, the uh, ammonia that's coming off than with the HCL. The HCL is not quite to the 10 mark yet. It's getting very close to that, but it hasn't quite got there. Now we're starting to come up on the 15 minute mark and you can see the green of the uh, ammonium hydroxide has gone from this 60, 62 all the way down now toward uh, 23 whereas the hydrogen chloride 
is just now getting to the 10 thereabouts, not moving very rapidly there. Okay, I'm going to move this around a little bit so that we get the full effect. I'm going to pull this down because I expect the reaction zone to be approximately where that mark is on the tube. So we're going to take this down just a little bit and then I'm going to reset this to the point where it's essentially at the end like that and what I'm going to do is to take the other end here in just a second okay. take this and pull this down about where we had it before so the same descriptors can be used. I'm going to take and put a piece of tape on here so that we know where things are. Oops, almost lost that. Okay, there we go. Okay. I expect the reaction zone to be someplace close to that mark. That approximates where we are in terms of the tube. You can see at this point we're close to, let's put us down to 10 again, maybe just a little bit more. You can see at this point that we're getting very close to our 20 centimeter mark for the ammonium hydroxide, whereas for the uh, HCl, we're just now getting to that mark in the tube that is about 10 centimeters. approaching the 20 minute mark. Essentially at this point what you have is the ammonium hydroxide has driven down to around 18 maybe yeah about 18 centimeters so it's gone from ostensibly the 60 centimeter mark all the way down to around the 18 centimeter mark and the hydrogen chloride is just now getting across the 10 and heading toward the 11.
right now. I'm going to take you and focus you in on that reaction mixture. You can see it, how this is starting to really quite get close to each other. We're about 23 minutes out now. You can see that we're starting to get very, very close up here. This is where my ammonium uh, hydroxide or ammonium gas is. And here's my HCl now right at 10. Bring it farther out so you can take a look. We're about 25 minutes out now, and what we see is that the, the uh, ammonia is right on the verge of reacting with the hydrogen chloride. Basically there is a very few or very little amount of uh, the pH paper that has not been reacted with at this point. And as you look back, you will see that there is a very large amount of ammonium uh, hydroxide that's starting to come down. So we've seen it drive from about 60 centimeters down to about 10 centimeters in about 25 minutes. Very shortly the two will mix with each other. We're at about 27 minutes and you can see that we now have the two that appear to be in contact with each other. There's very little pH paper left to react for them.
We're at almost 30 minutes now and what is going on is that the ammonia has driven down to, uh, to the HCL. We're going to see very shortly that we're going to get a reaction down here on this. About where the mark is, we expect to see, in fact you can barely see the beginning of a white a white uh, uh, material and it's going to happen about where that card is and a little farther up right about there that's where we expect that to start happening okay what I'm going to do is to get a colored block here and start showing that to you very shortly. We're going to let it mix a while. It's right at the red spot that you can start seeing it right here. It's going to start happening. We're at 31 minutes. Thirty-three minutes here. What I'm going to do is take and tear a black piece of edge. Hopefully, you can start seeing the the uh, ammonium chloride that's being formed at this point. Help see that right where it's present. We drag the tube just a little farther down. There we go. You can see that right there where the white precipitate is occurring right here. We're at now 30 33 minutes. We're at 34 minutes. 
really starting to form nicely right here. You can see the ring right around it. What I'm going to do is to show you the camera here. I'm going to go in and get a close-up of this. See that? It's present there. Okay. And we're sitting at about 35 minutes out and we've got precipitant that has formed right on that line.